so like like you said earlier with the whole dynamic of uh people in the spanish community were telling you you're not spanish uh just because you couldn't speak spanish i was trying to the point also i was trying to make is actually uh, since i grew up in the city in freetown sierra leone um we we spoke creole and it's it's really just uh an offshoot of english really it's, it's an english-based language mixed with uh, a little bit of of local stuff out there okay but but anyways um i didn't really grow up learning or speaking fulani in in our house you know my father didn't it wasn't something i guess was important to him for for me to grow up speaking fulani so but when i moved when i ended up living with with uh my grandmother his mom my, my father's mom you know and i and i got around that part of the family once in a while, I always get, oh, you don't, you don't, you know, you're not Fulani. You're, you're. I'm not Fulani because, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? the thing but is, I, well, go ahead, go ahead. no, go ahead, go ahead, please. So I feel like, I feel like though, some, they, they, they bring up that point or they say that just to feel like, just to get one up on me almost. Like maybe if we're in an argument. Make and, me feel and some I, type yeah, of way. Yeah, yeah, just to put me down a bit. And that's like your dad's side of family telling that's you that. That's my dad's side of family, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, you know me, I would have something to say about that. I would be like, listen, I can't learn something that nobody ain't teach me, especially as a child. Or like a language is 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 that's that's yeah, something that's, that's that's a whole system. You have you know? to post a point like Yeah. Right. Where you was at? <laughs> right. <laughs> Why you ain't teaching me? <laughs> Why you ain't teaching me, right? Exactly. Sure. So uh, but you like actually you too, like you actually took uh the um the the steps to actually learn Spanish, right? I didn't even. I, How'd you I, go about learning a new language, by the way? I'm gonna I'm tell everybody, right? So, like, I wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. But I didn't have nobody to teach me. So, like I said, we live in a dominant Spanish, you know, area. Yeah. So when I used to work at, you know, my one of my warehouse jobs, I was at Crayola, working at Crayola, and then this is a this is a crazy thing too, bro. People treat you different once they know you mix, like with them. Like, like once I let them know I was Spanish, oh, I got a, a whole different type of treatment. So I was at Crayola, I was on the line working with these Puerto Rican ladies, right? Then I told them, like, yeah, I'm half Spanish. My mom Puerto Rican, like straight like that. Look at my last name. You feel me? My last name is Stamp Spanish. Once you see my last name to like a Spanish person, that's just certified. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's all I gotta do. Show my last name. How does they can get this last name? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I did was I would literally ask them one word at a time. So every day or? Every day I'm taking one word and I'm like, how do you say like, like a phrase, like any type of phrase? I'm asking one word, like how you say wall, how you say, how you do that, how, anything. How you say this, how you say this, how you say this, how you say this. They used to get annoyed. Like, Darrell, my God, stop. Like. Oh, that's so annoying. But then I went, like, a couple years later, I went to the Walmart warehouse, right? And I told Alvin, I was like, yo, Al, when I get out this shit, bro, I'm going to learn how to speak Spanish. So it was me and some dude. It was our first day, some Dominican dude. We working side by side, et cetera, et cetera. Then, um, you know, just for the first day. And then I had, like, a, like a little computer joint on my arm, like, to do the job. And and it has like my my login information, which was my name. And then I told the dude, "Yo, um, I'm Dominican." He looked at me straight up and said, "You not Dominican. You don't got the face of a Dominican. I know faces of Dominicans." That's that's what he said to you. Yeah, that's what he said to me. Then I said, "All right, look at this." The ID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his face like this. Everybody looked at me. He's like, "You got him." He's like. <laughs> He's like, Mani, tu estás dominicano? I was like, yeah. I'm the, I try to tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, real quick, though. But when I told the ladies at Crayola, because Crayola was first before the Dominican dude, they started making me food. I used to come to the job. They, they, for lunch, I got rice and beans and chicken and steak, like, every day. Well, on my birthday, I was, that was fresh out of high school. That was my first job. Like on my birthday when I turned um well, how much I turned I think I turned twenty or nineteen out of high school yeah Probably eighteen right no nah, because I still back 19? one time everybody I still back oh, okay. first grade was hard <laughs> first, grade. first grade was hard my nigga <laughs> it was bro but anyways 
<laughs> yeah, I'm eating every day. They they gave me a fucking birthday cake and everything. They did me a little surprise party at the job. That's yeah. all after I told them I was mixed. So so basically, when you were black in their eyes, they weren't doing that. Nah, no love. They weren't doing that. Go get that box. <laughs> Pick that. Sh- wrap the pallet, Darrell. Get the pallet out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not much love at all. Not much love at all, really. Nah. Just, just, just high in and how's your day and, and high and by. Bro, maybe not even high and by. Maybe the wow. But once I told them I'm half Puerto Rican, Dominican. Yeah, bringing lunch. Lunch. I'm lunch, eating dinner, good. Every, rice and beans. Rice and stuff. beans. <laughs> We talk, we be talking all day on the line. I'm getting busy though on the line. Yeah. You know, I get busy when I work. Right. But yeah, switch that quick. When I told the Dominican dude, he said, "Money, I'm gonna teach you Spanish. You're gonna learn with me." And and it, it kind of basically took off really, really from, from him. There. But the girls, the ladies at Crayola first, they gave me my foundation, and then money at Walmart. He, that's your took, next job. Yeah, that, we that's took that's where it took it took, other, it took to another level. That's what we took off. Like when I went to Puerto Rico, I was talking to them. Like I need directions oh i need this like like if i was just one of them when i speak i, I might have a, f- a funny funky accent yeah i'm not gonna sound like a puerto rican dominican cuban nothing i'm gonna sound like Darrell. but you're gonna understand me <laughs> <The> american spanish <laughs> american spanish <laughs> America, you're gonna understand me word um so but i, I kind of can you can you give a little bit more detail of that second part when uh when you took the language to another level like like what? So, what type of questions were you asking on that second phase, or was it more of you was actually trying to communicate with the guy? Well, what it was like, he basically be put me in position because before, when like when I left Crayola, or even during when I was with Crayola, the process of learning Spanish, I didn't feel comfortable talking because how I sound, I don't know all the words properly, you know, I put phrases wrong or whatever. But with my knee at Walmart, he was like, "Bro, you're not gonna have, you're gonna have to stop being nervous." He put me around all the Spanish niggas. I was my knee right here. Can okay? Da, 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 and talking so that I had to like get, you know, from being uncomfortable and yeah, just like he brought you out of your shell. Yeah, almost. to let loose. Like now, if I have to speak to anybody in Spanish any moment in time, it's okay. Or, what's up? What you need? That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. No, it's it's great. Me too. Like, um, I I wanted to dive on the on the language because you have to I learn mean, English, right? Huh? You have to learn English, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I did, but, uh, but we're not talking about English here. We're talking okay. about, I, I also had to learn Fulani, if you okay, remember okay. what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just five minutes ago, right? <laughs> but you had to learn English at some point, though, right? When I moved to the States, I, I did, yeah. All right, so yeah. look, everybody, come on now. My English was better than Fulani, though. It was? Yeah. Because I, you I learning went to out school there? out there when I was, I was up to like nine years old or whatever, like. That we we did we learned that's what we learned in school is English. Okay, let's get back to the Fulani. You had to but learn anyways, Fulani. I actually had to learn Fulani from scratch. Meaning, like I didn't know not even one word. In like Fulani. you did it like ABC ways wise, like no, or well just yeah, word by word, that, like me. The like the Fulani, like I said, they're they're actually a very advanced tribe. Like meaning, um, even when they were like back in the day, almost uh, before Africa was yeah before Africa was colonized. Like the Fulani at one point had their own empire, um, specifically based like more of West Africa. They had they were ruling from like Guinea all the way to Senegal. Mm-hmm. Like all that landmass was was under their control. Mm. Uh, but um, who did lose it to? So their their empire started falling apart as the as the French as the French started uh, see insurgent. In, in, in this is America. just for all the viewers just to see what's going on. It's been going on not just for us. And start today. <laughs> You know what I mean, yeah. but you know, but yeah, let's 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 stay let's go on back topic. To the, <laughs> Cause me with me, I'll just keep nah, going. Now nah, we'll definitely get into that though. But let's go on back to the language. Um, I had the opportunity to move to actually live with my grandmother in Guinea. Well, with uh, Nene? Yeah, when I was when I was younger. So what's I. Up, what's up, boss? So I when I moved out there, we um, I was out there for like maybe two years. Mm-hmm. Um and I was able to pick up the language, um, the Fulani language. Yeah, the Fulani language. Nana speaks Fulani. Yeah, she, I, she don't speak Creole. She does. She speaks both. She speaks like five languages. Oh, for what language does she speak? Real quick, just for the viewers, they might um, they might want to know, know Nana. I don't know all of them off my head, but she speaks like most of the languages out of Sierra Leone. Oh, okay. Like all the other tribes. She's OG, OG. Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. She she knows Fulani. She knows the she lo- like the universal local language Creole. And then she knows like Madingo, Timini, Soso, like those. So you all, do know the languages. 
Well, like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, like, not all of them. Okay. She probably knows more of the languages, to be honest. Okay. Like, she, she, the, grew up, the village she grew up in, there were many tribes that, that kind of mixed and, and mingled amongst each other. So from what she told me was that she was required to speak Fulani in our home, like, out of her father's house. Mm-hmm. But after she left her father's house, um, then it was whatever. Like, she, was, she would it, interact with, obviously, other people. Uh, meant where she was, she would pick up her friends' languages, mm-hmm. and then her friends would pick up her languages. Just that's just how it that's was. how it went. Yeah. So you you had to learn how to speak Fulani from scratch. Like, how long did it take you? Like, how was that process? Yeah, like? I would say so. When I was living with with my grandmother in Guinea, uh, and you lived in Guinea. Yeah, I did. That's so fire. That was like uh, that's all. That was all that was around us was Fulani. Fulani. There was no Korean. How old were you at that time? Uh, probably like. Eight or seven, and seven, and, seven. And at, the, and at that point, you speaking straight um, Creole. So you yeah, go- my whole life at that point was just Creole. So now you're going but to a whole and then English in school, but okay, but yeah. So then you're going to a household straight Fulani. Straight what the Fulani. hell are they even saying to me? <laughs> well, my, my cousin and them, they knew Creole too. Because also, they're breaking they, down. They, they all they they were all born in Sierra Leone, but our tribe specifically is out of Guinea. If, okay, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, but. They yeah they all know Creole still because they were all born in Sierra Leone right but specifically if we're talking about the Fulanis where like they're, they, that's where they're they deep at. populated that mm-hmm. is in Guinea okay yeah so but anyways um yeah it took me like a year bro a year to actually speak and understand the language I would say after like a year I was really comfortable where I was just speaking and and I I was basically like doing my own thing regular yeah just regular like the first was crazy like the first couple months was really tough because when I when I would go out with my little, with my cousin Cherno okay yeah like when I, when I would go out with him he was he was a dickhead though he spoke Fulani he speaks Fulani yeah he grew up he grew up in that environment where mm. yeah. but why was he a dickhead because we'll go out and you know I'm new I'm the new guy and like and like him and his mans or whatever wherever we go like they wouldn't just speak Fulani they would mess with me, so like I don't understand what they're saying. They would literally like speak, like they would say the word backwards. Like for an example, if they want to say like school or whatever, or like sorry, that like, if they want to say I'm going to school, they would say school I'm going or something like that. Right, like, right, like right. they would just change it up in a way. Come on, cheese. Don't be super off. <laughs> Come on, why you get, get my man a hard time or, out there? Or, or yo, I'm about to go. I'm about to go buy food or whatever. Nah. They would literally say like food I'm about to buy or something. Like it, it would be mad weird, and I'd be like, they, and if you don't know the language, it's hard to put it together at right. that point. So you just if you there. only know like bit by bit, you know right? What I'm saying? So you just hearing little words at a time. Yeah. So um, so yeah, man. So it took me like a year or so to actually pick up and and uh, and. And be comfortable the language. with the language. Yeah, you can still speak it to this day. So now, since since ever since we moved to the states, um, uh, I like I basically we, I stopped speaking Fulani. So oh, so you lost. But I, right now, I understand it. Like I can, I don't, I can't, I can't lie though. I, I don't understand hundred percent of it at this point. But um, if if you're, I can I can communicate a little bit. But I, I'm I'm more at the point where I understand. Listening wise, more than, than I can actually, actually speak. speak. Yeah, so, <laughs> at least you can understand. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's language is not really hard to uh, to learn. You, it you, makes it much easier if you put yourself in the environment, right? Kind of like how you did, where you were working with majority exactly. Spanish folks. Exactly. I know if I was and, yeah. with a bunch of people that spoke Swahili, I speak Swahili. Word. I want to pick up Swahili too. That's another language I want to pick up. I know a little bit. I know yeah. I say hello. My uh, my Kenyan guys says it's very simple. Um, it's like you can almost learn it from a book because the word, like you pronounce the word as you read it. It's not like that's like Spanish. Yeah, you pronounce it as you read it, so it's not it's not gonna spell like knife and you you pronounce right. it phone. Like yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a knife. Knife. <laughs> <laughs> if you would, if you don't know any better, that's how you would actually say knife. If you read, if exactly. you're just reading it, you know what I'm saying? Or a so that's pwn. what I mean. Yeah, it's not like phone pwn. Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's not so so Swahili is is, is uh simple. Yeah, it's it's just as it's written. That's that's what it is. Interesting, right? Very interesting. 